Have you ever noticed how some innovations arrive quietly, almost without fanfare, but end up becoming the turning point of an entire industry? That's exactly what seems to be happening right now with Aptera's solar technology. Something subtle, almost easy to overlook, is unfolding behind the scenes. And if you follow the clues closely, it suggests Aptera is preparing to take a major leap into a new generation of solar capability. And it all starts with a small detail that wasn't meant to steal the spotlight. During one of Aptera's recent vehicle walkthroughs, a moment occurred that most viewers probably saw as casual conversation. But if you pay attention to it, the implications are massive. As the solar lead walked through the updates on the vehicle, he casually revealed something many fans weren't expecting this early. The company is actively preparing to transition from its current solar cell generation to a far more advanced seventh-generation architecture. Before we go there, though, there's a lot to unpack, because the groundwork for this shift has been laid quietly through a series of major improvements. Let's start with the glass. The latest Aptera vehicle shown publicly features a fully laminated, lightweight glass solar roof, a step that signals a major level up in engineering maturity. The solar team didn't just slap panels onto the surface. They redesigned them using a high-impact, durable, flexible glass that can withstand real-world conditions while still being thin enough to keep the vehicle efficient. And this isn't limited to the roof. The dash panel is now glass-based as well, while the hood and rear hatch are next in line once additional production tooling arrives. Each of these components is part of a roadmap that brings Aptera closer to a fully unified solar architecture, something no other EV manufacturer is doing at this scale. What's more interesting is what they aren't saying outright, but strongly implying. These panels are performing better than they originally forecasted. The team mentioned refining lamination, experimenting with improved production techniques, and finding new ways to extract more power from sunlight than their early estimates suggested. In engineering terms, this usually means one thing. Benchmarks have been exceeded somewhere in testing. And then there's the solar data. Aptera has been collecting enormous amounts of real-world solar performance data for months. Exposure tests, angle tests, power curves, thermal behavior, shading response, you name it. But none of this information has been fully released. That kind of data secrecy typically means they're preparing something significant something that needs to be validated before public announcement. But the story doesn't end with Aptera's own vehicle. They've already begun supplying solar panels to an outside customer, Polydrops, for their EV-friendly trailers. That means Aptera's solar tech has quietly turned from an internal tool into a commercial product. If one company is already integrating these panels, it opens the door to partnerships with RV makers, van builders, tiny home manufacturers, and renewable energy startups who want lightweight, high-efficiency solar. This expands Aptera's revenue potential long before vehicle production even begins, a strategic move that could stabilize operations and attract new partners. Now, let's return to the moment that sparked the biggest surprise. When asked directly about future solar cell generations, Aptera's solar lead revealed they're actively preparing to step up from the current Gen 3 cells to Gen 7 cells, a drop-in replacement offering higher efficiency without redesigning the entire system. That means Aptera has intentionally selected a solar panel design that can evolve over time giving the vehicle a built-in upgrade path. Why is that important? Because the solar industry moves quickly. In the last few years, we've already seen efficiency improvements from around 22% to nearly 25% in 
in commercially available cells simply by capturing more of the light spectrum. A few percentage points might sound small, but in the context of a solar EV, that improvement translates into more daily range, more independence, more off-grid capability, and more year-round usability. And here's where curiosity spikes. If that's what current mainstream solar panels can do, what does Gen 7 bring? The Aptera team didn't reveal numbers, and the fact that they avoided specifics is intriguing on its own. When engineers don't share efficiency values, it typically means one of two things. They're still validating performance and don't want to overpromise, or the results are substantial enough that they want airtight confidence before announcement. Either scenario points toward a meaningful upgrade. Another clue is their excitement about the panel's appearance outside the clean room. When teams feel proud of a product under natural sunlight, it's often because the product is exceeding expectations, not just working as intended. Engineers are rarely impressed by their own work unless something notable is happening. And that leads to the bigger picture. Aptera is steadily building toward a moment where production, solar technology, partnerships, and real-world data all merge into a mature product. Before the vehicle hits the road in mass production, these solar advancements will determine how much range owners gain per day, how the vehicle performs in different climates, and how reliable it is over a decade of sunlight exposure. Alongside this, many viewers are waiting for updates on their test platforms, like the Gemini program, and for further developments on the Artemis validation system. Both will provide crucial insight into how Aptera's innovations behave under real-use conditions. At its core, this entire progression shows a company sharpening its engineering discipline. Instead of rushing panels into production, they're iterating, gathering data, improving efficiency, and preparing for a leap into next-generation solar capability. Even the fact that they're working with reputable suppliers who already produce advanced glass components for major companies shows that Aptera is structuring itself to scale, not just experiment. So now the question turns to us. What do these Gen 7 panels represent for the future of a solar EV? Could this efficiency jump open the door to longer off-grid travel? Could Aptera eventually become the first vehicle where solar is not a feature, but the main source of energy for daily driving? And how transformative could it be if Aptera's solar division grows large enough to power not just their own vehicles, but a wide range of external products? The possibilities are larger than they seem. Share your thoughts. Share your doubts. Share your hopes. Every perspective helps shape the larger conversation about where solar mobility is going next and how soon we may see its real potential. Thanks for being here today. Take care of yourself, stay curious, and we'll meet again soon, hopefully with fresh news about what these next-generation solar panels are truly capable of.